churches don't have a safety and security plan in place. That's according to the Christian Security Network. But a safety conference is working to change that. Today, our Alexis Simmons was in North Charleston to find out how you can make your place of worship more secure. Church staff across the area came together for a seminar on church safety. Everybody believed, you know, and trust in God that he'll protect us. However, he also said be wise. Keith Hale is the Family Life Center director at Mount Moriah Baptist Church, the location of the active shooter seminars for first responders and church staff. Dr. Mike Klumpner is the CEO of Threat Suppression Incorporated. He teaches about 40,000 people a year worldwide. Well, I'm not here to spread a message of fear. It's a, me a message of preparation and resilience. He presents incidents that could arise in churches like robberies, personal conflicts, and gang-related crimes. It's important for church leaders to know about recent church crimes. Watch the news. Just do Google searches of church crimes and see what's happening and see if your church is prepared to counteract one of those crimes. Locking side doors during services, having a high visibility of church staff and installing cameras both hidden and visible are just a few safety precautions. He also recommends having law enforcement officers at services and keeping inventory of equipment. If someone stole a, a laptop from your church or a, or a TV from your church, how long would it take to even even recognize that? After what happened downtown with Emmanuel 9, it was an eye opener and a lot of churches are now looking into effective strategies. A safety team member at New Spring Church says it was eye opening to learn about the liabilities of the church. For example, churches need to make sure mission trip destinations are safe and proper medical precautions are taken before traveling to new areas. It's really nice to see that we have programs like this available to help in today's society to make sure that we can go to church and be safe. In North Charleston, Alexis Simmons, Live 5 News. The event was hosted by the Mount Pleasant and North Charleston Fire Departments.